What's up guys and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Amir, but you can call me Z. And what's up? You clicked on this video to see how I got this beautiful, effortless, my go-to full glam makeup look. And we'll get right to it. But before we start, I want to give a big shout out to Anna Louise for sponsoring today's video. Thank you so much, Anna Louisa. Now if you guys don't know who Anna Louisa is or if you didn't watch my previous vlog on my New Year trip, Anna Luisa is a jewelry company based in New York City and they have very affordable, great quality pieces. This is not the first time they sent me jewelry. They sent me jewelry before. They sent me they sent me a few items. So starting with this beautiful, I guess you can say like watch type of bracelet. Now you can see that it's a little bit big, but your girl has a small wrist. I just haven't been able to get to the store and get the links taken out. But this is one of the first pieces that they, they sent me. They also sent me some beautiful gold earrings that I wore in that video. If you go watch the video, you'll see. I actually lost those when I was in New York, unfortunately, so I'm going to have to get some more. Now, y'all, look how cute the little packaging is that the jewelry comes in. Like these little envelopes. Like, that's how you know it's going to be great quality. But this is the, one of the necklaces that they sent me um, in our first collaboration, which is like a basic like gold Cuban necklace, which is good for layering. Also good if you just want to throw on something that I haven't yet on your neck if you're like me and you literally have to have on jewelry no matter where you go, who you with. And at least it's a spot. Now, I will say... Anna Luisa by far has become one of my favorite places to get my jewelry from. So some of the pieces that they recently sent me include this gold chain here. Now it's one of, um, I, I would call it minimal and basic, but it's so beautiful like, and it's so like easy. And it's very light. This is a very light chain and it's very thin. It's not as thick or as heavy as the Cuban one here. See? So this one, and this one is also more like, it, it's closer to my neck than this one is. This one hangs a little bit, so this one's perfect for like layering. This one is more so like elegant. If you want to wear like a dress or something, you want to wear something cute, I would wear this. Now, they also sent me this necklace that I have on here, which is like flowers. They also sent me this beautiful bracelet to match the necklace here. And as you guys can see, I paired it with the watch. This is my go-to. Like, when I wear braces, I wear, I'm wearing these two together. Like, it's so gorgeous. Now, I picked these two pieces because I've been wanting, like, a really effortless, beautiful, dainty piece for my neck and for my, my, my wrist. Now, when I seen this, um, when I seen this bracelet on their Instagram, you see how pretty that is? I was like, I have to have it. Like, it will go perfect with my watch bracelet and so when they sent me the email I was like yes I already know for sure which one I want so I was super excited but I didn't know they had the necklace to match and they also sent me these beautiful small hoops here very small but very very simple very elegant very minimal so if you're like me and you're like a minimal type of girl like you have your statement jewelry pieces but you have your minimal pieces as well shop Anna Luisa. The link will be down in the description below. And you can use my code Zemir20 to get 20% off your order. Now, men, Valentine's Day is coming up. And if you have a girl who likes jewelry, you need to go scoop you some. They have gold, they have silver, they have, they even have some pieces with like crystals or like, uh, what they call them, birthstones. So if you know your girl likes jewelry, or if she's sending you this video, that means she wants some gold. It'll be right here on the screen. Zemir 20, 20% off. Not 10, not 5, not 5 and a half. 20%. 20% off for great, great quality jewelry piece. But um, if you have a girl and you know your girl like jewelry, go click the link in the description. Get her some jewelry. Now, let's get into this makeup tutorial because that's what you really clicked on this video. But I had to give you a little sprinkle. You know, something a little, something to go with like a little side. Okay, I'm done. Let's get into this. Alright y'all, so let's go ahead and get into this video. First off, I want to say Happy New Year to y'all. This is the first video of 2023. <laughs> I'm really excited to see this video because I just love doing my makeup. And clearly, y'all love seeing me do my makeup. So let's go ahead and get started. I've already prepped my skin. I washed it and I put on some Good Molecules um, Hyaluronic Acid Serum and the Brightening Serum and also some Tatcha Moisturizer. So the base is ready. It's, it's giving. 
You see the glow? Yeah, thank you, good molecules. <laughs> Alright, let's just get into this video. Cause I don't wanna be here all day. And we're just gonna we're just gonna chit chat while I show you guys how I do my makeup look. And now this will be the perfect look for Valentine's Day, because I know Valentine's Day is coming up. Gotta love love. So this is like my go-to. This is probably what I'll end up doing for my Valentine's Day look, because I know I'll be with my hubby. <laughs> I really want to try out this foundation to see how it works. Not how it works, but how long it stays, how it looks, long lasting, blah, 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 blah. See if I want more this for, you know, I don't like this. So let's get into it. I know my anniversary is coming up. <laughs> January 22nd, if you didn't know, now you know. Okay, let me get into it. So starting off when I do my makeup, I always start off with brows. I'm using the Morphe Eyebrow Pencil in the shade Java, but this is the Micro Brow Pencil. Yeah, my go-to. So let's go ahead and get up close and personal, okay? Up close and personal. This is my face, like, in my life. So I have my little mirror that I'm going to use while I do my, my eyebrows. I'm going to try not to have it, like, in the camera so y'all can't see. But let's just chit-chat. 2023, y'all. It's actually here. Yeah, like, it's actually kind of crazy to me. But I'm super excited because I have so much I want to do this year that I actually need to write down before I even, you know, start talking about it. But I have most of them written down. But I have a video, I have a few videos in mind that I want to do for you guys. Some of them which is coming up pretty soon. I definitely want to get more consistent on YouTube. Because I love y'all so much. But I be so picky about my content. Like literally. It's so much easier to post on TikTok. Because you can literally post anything on TikTok. And somebody going to see it. And somebody going to look at it. And it's just like. It's not as much, for me personally, I can only speak for myself, it's not, I don't have to put as much effort as I do into my TikTok videos as I do my YouTube videos. Because TikTok, I'm on there for fun. Like, I literally can post anything. But I feel like with my YouTube videos, like, I want y'all to have authentic content. Like, you post to be able to sit down, relax, eat a bowl of cereal, eat your lemon McDonald's, whatever, your spaghetti, whatever. Why you watch my videos and be comfortable. And it's just like, I don't want to just give you a video and you be like, I don't feel like watch this in the morning, click out. You know what I'm saying? Because that's what I do. So I am very picky with my content, what I post, when I post it, and, and it's just like, because I'm so picky, like I have so many videos that I've re recorded for y'all and just decided not to post. Like, for example, Jiho Part 2, yeah. Honestly, I just didn't post Jiho Part 2 because one, Jiho Part 1 didn't do great, and I just was very picky, like I said before. And it was just like, uh, and then life on top of that, like everything else that was going on, like midterms, then final exams, and then just everything else in life that I was doing. I was traveling, and I was going back and forth, and all sorts of kind of stuff, so it was just a lot going on, and I just decided just not, not to post G-Hill Part 2. But if you actually really want to see G-Hill Part 2, just DM me, and I will literally just send it to you. But anyways, y'all see the difference in my eyebrows? Yeah, I'm right-handed, so it's kind of hard to do my right brow if that makes sense i don't know if anybody else has that problem like look at the huge difference between this brow and this brow but it's okay it's nothing no concealer can't clean up so for concealers i have actually three concealers that i use depending on the day whatever kind of look i'm doing so i have the juvia's place concealer in shade 15. it's on the lighter side so i use that for like my t-zone to brighten up but under eyes sometimes i use it under my brow and then I have two of the mini NARS um, radiant concealers, the creamy ones or whatever, in the shade Caramel. I love this concealer. I just need to get the big one. But I've been hesitant to get the big one because I like trying out new concealers and I'm still in the process of trying out and buying one that I love. But, you know, Juvia's Place doesn't have mini, so I had to buy the full size. And it's not that, it's not that expensive, so I'm not sure. But I still want to try, you know, other concealers. But this is my go-to Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in the shade 45. I love this concealer. Literally, will forever buy this one. But for today, I think I'm gonna go ahead with the Juvia's Place one to carve out my eyebrows. And I will be using a flat brush. This one here is my go-to flat brush. Don't ask me where it's from. I don't know. When I was first, when I first started doing makeup, my aunt was very supportive, and she gave me some of her brushes that she may have like two of them or whatever. So I could really get started. So I've had this since I started doing makeup. So don't ask me where it's from. It no longer even has the brand on it. So I couldn't even tell you. So I'm just going to carve out my bottom eyebrows with this concealer. The lighter concealer. And then I'll use the Maybelline to carve out the top. So it blends in evenly or whatever. But like I was saying. Oh, 
I'm very, uh, I'm very picky when it comes to my content. And it's just like, sometimes it's hard seeing, you know, everybody else post their content and it looks so great. And I'm just like, well, that just gave me motivation not to post the video I just recorded. But, but like I said before, like it's 2023, like I'm honestly done being inconsistent. I'm not gonna say I'm done. I'm gonna try my hardest to be consistent for you guys. I already have one, two, maybe like three videos that I'm, yeah, three videos that I'm gonna have recorded for you guys based on like my upcoming events that I have. Now, if something comes up and I feel like it's worthy enough to post on YouTube for you guys and I feel like you guys wanna enjoy it, then yeah, I'll pick up the camera. But like I said, very picky. So don't mind how bright this is. You know what I'm saying? Y'all, this is so empty. But yeah, it's just a lot on my mind right now. And I feel like that's what has kept me from recording. Not even just recording, but from posting as well. On top of like me being picky, it's like I feel like I have so much going on. And I feel like when I watch the content that I record, it's just not enough in my eyes. Like if I want to watch it myself, why would I post it? Anyways, new topic. And it's crazy because eyebrows usually take the longest for me. Like that's that's what makes my makeup process so long is doing my eyebrows. But I think I just gave me some good luck today. Thank you for clicking on this video because thanks to you, this eyebrow looks okay. Okay, I may have made this one a little bit too thin, but I'm looking messing with it. But I think I like this brow better. It's not terrible, I don't think. It just needs like right here. You know what I'm saying? Okay, I'm using the e.l.f. Flawless Concealer Brush. I don't know if they still sell this because like I said, this is one of the brushes that I also got from my aunt when I first started doing my makeup. Don't know if they still sell it, but if they do, this is one of this is the best concealer brush I've ever used. I'm gonna blend this down. I'm gonna let this dry a little bit before I go back in and fix that part. I'm probably just gonna redraw it on. But I'm blending down on the lighter side. I don't blend like like that. Like I blend like down, like legit down. Don't try to don't do all that. Just from what I can see, does it look pretty to y'all or do I look crazy to y'all? Let me know. Let me know. Okay, okay, Miss Girl. Yeah. Now I know you guys noticed I did not put concealer like in the middle in between like my eyebrows. I just take the product that's already there and I blend it like that. Just so it's not as harsh. I know I see a lot of girls like putting concealer there. I'm like, girl, what are you doing? But that's just my personal opinion. I'm not judging you. Your makeup probably look flawless, chill on me. That's just my personal opinion. I don't have to fix the eyebrow, but this one is eating. This eyebrow's eating. Okay, y'all, so I finished my eyebrows. Let me know in the comments if y'all think they look similar enough. I honestly didn't feel like trying again, so this is what it's going to get. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this excess concealer that I have on my hand, and I'm going to put it on a clean beauty blender, so just a little bit. And I'm just going to pat this in wherever I have blemishes because I don't have, like, color corrector because I don't really care for color corrector. Like, So I'm going to take a little bit of that and just put it on my blemishes and blend that out just a little bit this is just so that underneath my foundation just looks a little smoother and so for today's foundation i'm going to be trying the makeup by mario um something something skin foundation oh i'm sorry the makeup by mario surreal skin foundation this is in the shade 230 shout out to babe he's going to pick my shade we went to well we went to Sephora or whatever and I went to get some stuff and I seen it I, I see that they had a few shades so I tried them on and this is the shade that he picked and I think he did a pretty good job. But here I am just using another flat brush and I'm just putting I only did <laughs> two bumps of the foundation on my hand and now I'm just using this brush and I'm getting every single last drop of the foundation off my hand. So once I have my foundation all the way on, I'm going to take the Morphe um, Continuous Setting Mist and spray it all over my face. Love this setting spray. To blend up my foundation, I'm using the e.l.f. Ultimate Blending Brush. Um, if you watched my previous makeup video that I did, which was you know, make a makeup look, I don't know if I put this in there because I didn't put on foundation. Well, if I didn't say it in there, I'm seeing it now. This is my foundation brush. I really want to try the Refi one though. The one that Monet uses. Because it's so beautiful when she blends out her makeup. Oh my gosh. Now, y'all, I've tried this foundation already. I put it on before. 
I think it was for first day of class. And it was so pretty, but to actually do a full face, like I'm super excited to see how this looks. But look at it though. It just looks like I have clear skin. And I'm very picky about foundations that I pick. Because I'm the type, I'm quick to return. Quick with it. Too quick with it. Like 24 hours type quick. Less than 24 hours type quick. A lot of girls be like, oh, I just don't feel it. No. <laughs> no. But getting to it, like... Mario did his thing. <laughs> Mario did his Mario did his thing with this one. With this one. He did his thing with this one. So for concealers, well not for concealers. So what I do is I put my concealer on, well I put it in the place that I want to put it, which is in the T-zone. And then I put my contour on, set it with some setting spray. And then I blend in my contour first. So I'm going to take the same Jivious Place concealer in the shade 15. And put it in my T-zone. I don't use a lot because little goes a long way with this product. Last time I did it, how I usually do it, and had way too much product. A little bit on the nose. Boom. Simple as that. And then I take a little bit of this just because it's concealer. It's just a smidge bright. This is more like my shade. So for my contour, I use the Fenty Beauty Contour Stick in the shade Espresso. Love it. I love this contour. This is the only one I've ever tried, but I honestly don't feel like it gets any better than this. But it probably does. But I'm... No. So I put this up here, you know, try to shrink that big old nog in mine, that big old bow head up there. And then, to really snatch my face. Snatch that jawline, sis. I feel like I already have a really nice jawline. But this just does it for me. This is do it for me. And then I'm going in with the Morphe setting spray, the same one that I just used. So I'm going to let that sit for a second. Let's talk. Let's talk. What are your goals for the New Year's? Comment down below what's three, what's your top three goals for 2023. I want to know. I want to know. I'm curious. I'm going to motivate you. We're going to do this together. We're going to be successful. Let me tell you guys, I won't say top three, but... Three of my goals that I have for the year 2023. So, the first goal being to hit 10k subscribers on YouTube. We already at 4.3 something now. Thanks y'all for 4k. Yeah, let me stop playing. Don't check me. Thank y'all for 4k. <laughs> we on the road to 10k, so that's one of my goals is to hit 10k subscribers. I'm on YouTube and I'm super, super, super excited. And then let me go ahead and blend this out and stop playing. Um, two of my other goals, one of them being I want to stay consistent in the gym and get this body right. Now, I love the weight that I am. I just really want to tone up. Like, I really want to get defined abs, defined arms, like all of the above. Get me open. So, I've been going to the gym and i've been consistent for the most part um our school gym for some odd reason is closed right now for until like the beginning of february so i've been having to go with my roommate we've been going to this other gym that's near us they got like this little discount that gives that we're doing that until our gym opens but um yeah so get consistent not only um just in the gym but consistent in general like on youtube on my content creation on everything that I do in life, consistent with classes, like keeping my grades up, staying on top of it so that I don't have to, when I get to finals, I don't have to stress myself out. Like, I literally would be straight. So that's the goal. My last goal is to deepen my intimacy with the Lord. I want to be on a different level with the Lord. Like, I want me and the Lord to be like this. And I'm going to do whatever it takes to get there. So, yeah, I want to deepen my intimacy in my relationship with my Father. Thank you, Jesus. So, yeah, I blended out my contour. Oh, no, I didn't. But, yeah, those are three of my goals. I have, like, about 12 goals, I think. Maybe even more than that. Because I have, a, like, I have a lot of short-term goals and long-term goals. Long-term meaning, like, maybe towards, like, the end of the year or, like, August, September, October-ish. And then I have a lot of, like, spiritual goals. And I have, like, school goals. And I have content creation goals. You know, everything has its own category. So, those are just... Three that I can think of off the top of my head that I felt I could share with you guys. So I hope you guys, now that I've become a little vulnerable with you, 
You should get a little more with me. Let's see if it goes for 2023. Yeah, sure. Let's get into that. Y'all see that right? Hold on. Yeah. That's that Julius place. That Julius place. Do y'all want to see more college content, more beauty content, more lifestyle content? Like, what do what do y'all want to see? And I'm so happy that y'all are starting to comment more on my on my videos now. And I really appreciate the feedback and all the love, positivity you guys have been showing me. And I promise y'all, I read my comments and I respond. Go look. Moving on, we're going in with our Rare Beauty Liquid Blush. This is in the shade Joy. Now don't get me wrong, I love this blush, but I really want to try Happy. But it's always out of stock. Like, always. So I'm gonna use the bottom, the bottom of my Beauty Blender. So I'm gonna blend it with the bottom of my Beauty Blender and just get that beautiful pink glow. Yo, I want to put it on my nose so I can look like Rudolph. Yeah. Okay, now going in with my setting powder. I have the Fenty Beauty um, setting powder in the shade Honey. This is the small one, y'all. This is the mini version. I can't even tell y'all how long I've had this. And I use it every single time I do my makeup. And it's still so much left in here. Imagine having the big one. This one is so much easier to carry around. So I'm going to take my little powder puff here that I got from Amazon. And I'm going to dip it. Now, I've seen a hack on TikTok. They said to press it before you bake. So, I got some on here. And I'm just going to tap it on my hand. I'm going to press in like this. Literally pressing it into my under eye. Do you see a difference between this eye and this eye? Let me know in the comments. Shout out to Ruby, she did that. And then I go in like that. Haven't even contoured my nose yet and it already eats. Okay, so while this is sitting, I'm actually gonna go in with some powder, bronzer, or contour, or whatever you wanna call it. This is my go-to as of right now. I wanna get my hands on the Juvia's Place one. But I always forget when I go to the store. So I use the one that's in the middle. Don't judge. Drugstore, yeah. I use the one that's in the middle. I go in. This is bronza. Come on, see bronza. Now, a lot of people don't do their foreheads. But I do. And then we go in. Basically, I go in everywhere I put my contour. Just to warm up my face. Because after putting on the concealer, the powder, like it just... It don't look like it's too tone. You feel me? So all I'm doing is just warming up my face. It looks like I got some type of dip in my face. Another one of my favorite parts of my makeup is I go in with this little Real Technique, Real Technique brush. This is a domed shadow brush, but I use it for my nose contour because of the way it's set up on here. You see? It's just easier for me for nose contour. So I dip it in the same powder here. And I go in the nose contour. Y'all, I'm looking at my mirror, so don't mind me. The mirror that's on the camera. And then I take that and I drag that into my eye. Yeah, that eats. That eats. Oh, yeah. So I just take the excess, blend that in real good, and I just blend that into my eyeball. Boom, like I ate. I'm not gonna go in with some powder blush. This is a Juvia's Place Duo Volume 4. This is the one I went viral, it's like the Dior dupe or whatever. It's so beautiful, especially on my beautiful black skin. So I'm going in with the top one. I use this blush even when I'm not doing a full face. It's so pigmented, y'all, like, oh, I'm obsessed. You love it, I love you, I love it, right? I you love it, I love it, I love it, right? Okay. Y'all see how beautiful that is? Wow. Wow, who is she? Here's the trick, here's the secret. Use your blush, 
with your contour, um, whatever I, whatever brush you use for your nose contour, dip it in that blush, and you put that in the middle. Oh, she just changed the game. She just changed the game. It gives it more of that effortless look, and it just blends everything out. While my lashes are getting tacky, I'm going to go ahead and go on with some mascara. This is Essence Lash Princess Mascara. I have the blue one, and I also have, like, the turquoise one. I like all of them, literally. So I'm going to use some of this mascara. I don't do wings and eyeliner and all that good stuff. That's just my own personal. But if that's something you want to do and you're watching this video and you're doing your makeup, this is the time where you do your eyeliner because... I personally can't draw a straight line, let alone eyeliner, so. Alright y'all, so my camera actually just cut that clip, not sure why. I'm gonna finish up this face real quick and I'm gonna come back once I finish. All I have to do is put on some more blush, lashes, a little bit of eyeliner, and lips, and I will see you guys in the next clip. Alright y'all, so I'm back and I finished my face. So I just went in, I put on my lashes, and I did a little bit of highlight, and did my lips. Now y'all, I was watching the clip, like the beginning clip of this video. Why didn't y'all tell me I didn't put on no primer? Like, your girl done got... I, I was so excited to do this video that I forgot that one of the most important things when I do my makeup is put on primer. And I forgot to put on primer. And y'all was gonna tell me? Like, wow. It's actually kind of crazy. I thought we were tighter than that. But anyways, that's it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoy my go-to full glam makeup look this is when i do a full face this is what i do like this is basically what i do and this is the look that i will be doing for valentine's day because i look absolutely stunning and if you use this makeup routine and you're doing your makeup while you're doing it please let me know and if you do end up doing this look not not that there's anything special about it but the fact that you got it from sincerely z tag me on instagram or whatever the case may be wherever you do it in tiktok twitter i don't care tag me but anyways, um, again, thank you to Anna Luisa for sponsoring today's video. This is the best quality jewelry I've ever received. And shout out to Anna Luisa. If you want to shop some of these pieces that I have, go click the link down in the description and use my code Zamira20 and get you 20% off your jewelry. Now, listen to me. Listen to me clearly. I don't care if you hear nothing else from this video. Start screen recording right now and send this to your man. Your girl wants some jewelry. If you want it for cheap and you want an extra 20% off, go click the link in the description of this video or the link she sent with this screen recording and get your girl some jewelry. If she sent you this, that means she wants some jewelry and you need to go get it right now. Click out of this video. I'm done talking. Like, go get it now. But that wraps up today's video. And my advice is today, well, not even just today. It's 2023, so we starting clean. My advice of this video or today would be... To be intentional. From me, yours truly, sincerely, Z. Bye!